Like around the team, knowing that the situation with Q that he's out for the year. We all haven't got together right now. I know it hurt me. I've been calling and talking to him. Of course, I put on social media and the Adam. Let him know how you know how we feel for him. I wish I could play with him my last go around. You know he's a great player, but right now you know it's a little a little heartbreaking for us. You guys are already pretty young anyway. Obviously being the young upperclassmen, have any of the freshmen shown the potential to sort of step into a leadership role? Or if you obviously can decide on it. Uh. I don't know about the leadership role, but of course they're they're maturing a lot faster than I think I did as a freshman. Uh, but if anybody would, I say to have that leadership role and to step up besides Eric could probably be uh, Mario Kegler or Tyson. I don't know. Obviously, that's, that's been a big thing for you this year anyway. Being that leader, is there more of an onus for you, sort of on the court, to be the guy that knows what's happening and, and where everybody needs to be? Yeah. You know, I think just me being able to control the tempo and just make sure everything is flowing right, I think that's my job. And, of course, with Q out, I think i got to step it up even, got to turn up even more, uh, got to turn up a notch. You mentioned Mario. What what have you seen in him that you think he'll be that type of person that people look to you going forward? Just his competitive fire and um, communicate. You know, a lot of freshmen, even Q, Q is a silent leader. He led by example. I think I'm, most of the time I'm the only one talking. But Mario knows what he's doing, and he talks a lot of practice. I think leaders got to be able to talk, and he's the only, uh, next one that talks and pretty much communicates throughout the whole practice. When you lose a player of that magnitude, does it kind of just the entire team has to kind of step up a notch and kind of share the, the, the score and load and everything that he brought to the table? Yeah, of course. You know, you know it's hard to – Make up for what Q brought to it. You know, he brought rebounding, scoring, toughness. It's plenty of things that he brought. Yeah, like you said, everybody has to step up. But I think me just being able to, me being a senior, be being here, I think I got to step up even more, raise my, uh, the level of my play even more, including as our freshmen, and mature even faster than they've been maturing now. How different is it from early? I mean, you've seen a lot of injuries to these. To the previous teams where there really weren't many options, but not saying you guys have somebody that can fill Q shoes, but you do have options right. compared to previous years, and you have talented options. How different is that this year where Eli or, or whoever? Uh, I mean, it's a lot different. You know, we go come from having six, seven scholarship players to having, what, 11, 12. Bring, you know, like I said, it's hard to replace Q. You know, he's did a great job last year. He's doing a he did a tremendous job this year thus far till now getting hurt. It's just the freshman and we we'll have to figure out how we're gonna play it. We might have to alter lineups or we just have like I said, they have to mature. Eli have to come in and bring bigger minutes or we might have to play big, we might have to play even smaller.